All right, guys, so I'm gonna be installing some headers on my car. Here I have the box. It's already open. In case you guys missed the unboxing video, I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description. All right, guys, so we're actually gonna start with, with removing the motor cover. So you can just put that aside. So right back here, we got the heat shield and the headers are right here. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and remove the heat shield so I can have better access to the bolts on the headers. All right, so I got the three screws off. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and remove the O2 wires off the little clips. You got another one right at the bottom. Okay, so now that I got all the O2 wires out the clips, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the heat shield. Oh. All right, so there's that. So check this out. Here we got the headers. I got one of the O2 sensors, but the other one right over there all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and remove this pipe first this is what i'm gonna be using Finally got the bolts off. So now I gotta go and get the ones back there. Right there. Alright guys, so there we have it. I finally was able to get it out. Also, you gotta be careful with the O2 sensor. So the O2 is like right up there. So make sure you take that off before you actually pull this out. You don't wanna damage your O2 wires. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the O2 sensor from the old one and throw it onto the new one. All right, so this is going to be the challenging part, having to remove the nine nuts on the header. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like one right here, another one right down here, another one right here. Okay guys, real quick, once you start taking off the nut from the headers, you're going to, it's going to be looking just like this one right here. So what you're going to use is you're going to have to get a, a 12 that is deep rather than the regular one only because the bolt is not gonna allow you to reach it with this one it's gonna be about this much so you can't really reach it so with this one obviously you can so make sure you have a deep socket there we go Okay, so I got two down, seven more to go. I got the other one. Okay guys, so real quick, you have to remove this right here only because this bracket right here is actually holding down the headers. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's kind of dark. Okay, so now that I have it loose, you can freely be able to pull this out without a problem. Okay guys, so real quick, so far I have eight. 
I need one more to go. That last one is this middle one. And then after that, I can freely be able to take out the headers. There we have it. All right, so I got all nine of them off. Time to pull out the headers. I'm having a problem taking it out only because this thing, it's in the way, it's like kind of hitting right here so it doesn't let the whole thing come out. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna have to take these off and then the two on the other side as well. So I can be able to pull this out from the top. Check it out. This is the new one that's gonna be going in. And that's the old one that just came off. Okay guys, so here's the old gasket. And here I have the new one. Okay guys, so I put the O2 sensor onto the new headers. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the engine right now. All right guys, so there we go. It looks pretty cool, better than the stock one. Let me go ahead and finish it off. I'll get back to you guys. All right guys, so go ahead and show you. So these bolts are actually stuck onto this as well as these right here. All right, so what I did was I ended up going to the store and I bought these bolts right here, M12 1.25. Go ahead and show you. So, see, they do fit. Also, you need about same length as this on this side. So, let's see. So see it's gonna go about that much. Obviously it's gonna be tight on the other end because we're gonna have the other, the header part right here. And then I did pick up four bolts. So two packets, cause I'm gonna be needing some for this side as well. I'm gonna just reuse the same gasket cause I forgot to pick one up. Okay guys, so there it is. I did cut this, but it was still able to go on. Also, when I was putting this in, I kind of had to push the cat up in order to fit the bolts in and to be able to put this straight. You can see the headers from here, right there. Let's 
check them out. Right, guys there you guys have it i think that's gonna do it for today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe all that good stuff also if you hear that little rattle in the first two videos it's actually this as well as my plate it's not doing it right now but yeah